welcome to another episode of github copilot today we are going to explore one of the experimental feature released in vs code for the copilot users it works solely on copilot chat environment in vs code this feature may change over the time right now it's available as an experimental feature you can explore using vs code it is one of the interesting use case for any developers out there who would like to generate the code based on certain predefined guidelines every organizations and project have their own coding standards guidelines for how to code the application so how we can use the support of copilot at the same time align the suggestions from copilot to our own coding standards in one of the previous videos we discussed about how to review the code based on coding standard defined in a file in this video we are going to generate the code based on the predefined coding standards before we go into the coding standard aspects the setting is part of the vs code settings so let us have a look on the settings aspect you have two set of settings one is the user specific the other one is workspace in case you need this particular coding standard or the guidelines for all the developers working on this specific project you can go for workspace which attach the coding standard as part of your project or the repository itself and it's applicable for anyone working on this particular project remember this is available only on vs code so anyone working on vs code on this project will get this workspace specific coding standards but if you feel that a user want to adhere to some guidelines for all the project he is working irrespective of from which organization he want to follow certain guiding standards for his development then define it under the users one so let us start with a workspace angle i'm going to the extensions or you can directly open the settings uh, file i normally go to extensions to open the settings.json or you can even try directly adding this file so in the workspace case it gets added to your project one if you notice here in your project structure vs code dot vs code is added under the settings dot json came here and the construct which we use for the settings of this getting standard is github dot copilot dot chat dot right now experimental dot code generation dot instructions so the construct is this one and it is defined as an array so now let us define the coding standards here so let me start with i have some python files and uh, typescript files up so let us start with a python coding standard so each one will start with a text so here we are providing the coding standard in a natural language way you can explain the standard if you noticed in our previous video we used the coding standard even security checklist using yml files here we are using copilot so you can explain the coding standard in a natural language here i have the first one use underscore for private field names let me add it as private field names now let us go ahead and add one more standard and again here also i need to specify which technology because it's applicable for all the technologies so i can specify that here in typescript use underscore for private field names now i am going to the second one where the text is defined as i need to use something else in python use the 
snake case naming convention for private field so exactly opposite in case of typescript i need underscore to start with the private uh, field names but in python i need a snake case for naming convention so these are the two coding standard i am going to define as i mentioned it's a workspace specific so it's applicable or it's getting updated in the repository and any developer working on my repo will get exactly the same coding standard and it's effective in the chat section copilot.chat is specified clearly so it's not for the code completion but for the chat area so let us see how it works let us start with the typescript i'm going to the chat section and asking copilot to generate a function to verify the string is palindrome or not so as we are in the typescript file already it's going to define using the typescript so if you observe that it's generated is palindrome but uh, the converted string if you look at the fields are not defined by this underscore the reason is here i called out private specifically so let me remove the private thing i need underscore for all the field names inside the function so i can say inside the function any field defined inside the function in typescript i need to start with underscore so let us take exactly the same name prompt and ask copilot again i am standing in the typescript page asking copilot to generate one function for verifying palindrome or not this time if you noticed it start with underscore all the fields are started with underscore aligned to whatever the coding standards be defined here so that guidelines is available as part of if you look at the github copilot there are two references are used one is the coding instruction and the next one is the current file so these two are combined together to consider the coding standard so let us try for python now the same prompt but we need the naming convention should be snake case so i am going to python and asking copilot to generate the same palindrome function in python as you can observe we have the copilot instruction and the current file as references and the generated code aligned to the snake case which is defined as part of our coding guidelines this is how you can enforce different coding guidelines to copilot as part of code generation so copilot generated code will align to whatever you are expected coding standard this will reduce your code review aspects uh, there is no need for reviewing the code from a standard angle but obviously code review scale to other aspects like security performance and all you should go ahead and review that in that case you can take the help of copilot to do a code review against security performance look at our previous videos we covered that so let us go ahead and see a little more complex coding guidelines here if you feel it's a um, lot of effort required for generating this coding guidelines here you can take the help of copilot let me give this as the context and ask copilot generate new coding guidelines for typescript as by using so i i have some of the typescript angle like um, function name should be camel case number of lines in a number of lines in a function should not exceed 40 comment should be added 
and as I am generating everything using copilot always add a comment generated by copilot at the top of the method or the code block so these are the some of the coding standards I need for TypeScript it's defined as guidelines I can copy paste this as part of our existing guidelines here the function name should be camel case number of lines should not exceed comment should be added always add this comment on top so these are the specific one and it's not coded as TypeScript so it's applicable for every language so if you have a coding standard a specific coding standard applicable for different technologies you can define this it's applicable for all technologies or you can code the technology as part of the coding standard so it will take that specific guidelines only for that specific technology code generation so this done let us see how copilot is now generating the code I'm going to ask exactly the same question. Let me go to TypeScript. You can observe here. This is one thing we asked as part of the last guidelines. Always add this one generated by Copilot. And lower case is coming from the first requirement. And the comments um, earlier we don't have this comment if you notice okay great copilot given the comments earlier also well and good in case the comments were not there it should add based on this particular guideline and the function name should be camel case and uh, right now camel case let me just check the previous one is also camel case because that's a standard followed so if i need something else i can make it as like a pascal case i think let's start with pascal case let us try this one whether the change will be applied right now yes you can observe that is palindrome become the pascal case the function name and the same uh, these four different coding guidelines applicable for typescript python or dotnet whatever the code you do because it's not specified here now coming to this one um, as we are sharing this coding standard across multiple users because it's a workspace specific settings can we have this as part of a file instead of defining here sometimes we prefer to go for a file then you can add these things as a file in an md format so i'm going to the main area and going to add code style or code standard dot md this is my md file and i just need to extract this so let us take this one into the md file i'm just copying to md file and specify that copilot to hard selection remove the json format and key so let us see how it's coming up now it's uh, replaced everything so you have the coding standard now defined as a file external file you can refer this file as part of your coding standard let us replace this entire coding standard with a coding standard file for that you just delete this block and add a new block with a file key and referring to the code std.md so this is how you refer the new coding standard file so for making the difference let us change this pascal case again to 
snake case so your function name also in the form of snake case and in the settings we referred this file instead of defining all the coding guidelines direct file reference is done going to test.js and invoking copilot with the same prompt and this time you can observe that it's taking the snake case um, previously we have it is in a pascal case and uh, right now it's taken snake case so this coding standard is applied here or we can change generated by copilot chart let us see it's coming properly or not yes the changes are applied that indicate that your coding standard file is referred properly and that is part of your references also under copilot you will be able to observe the references section where it's referred the coding standard file so this is how you can define the guidelines for your code or the standards the styles for each of the technologies and share across multiple teams or multiple users if you are your setting is workspace setting it get added as part of your project structure or repository and it shared with all the users but if it is user specific exactly the same way we are applying but it stay in the id of the user and it's applicable for all the project he is working a particular user is working and an external coding standard file segregate all the coding guidelines so this is how you can enforce different coding standards to copilot explore this experimental feature and share your feedback thank you